Night Wolf, Raiden and Readed by Night Shadow. Some said it's nothing but a story, that it's just old man's fairy tale. But there are some who say they have seen them. Some said it's a demon who has come to man's kind world to punish all. Some said it's cursed to travel on the earth eternity. But what really it is, I guess no one knows. When the forest is as quiet, rise the creature from the darkness. Man's kind of worst nightmares, demons, goblins, and whatever you are afraid. But greatest of the all these nightmares is the night wolf. Many have heard the rumors about it, but less have ever seen it. Time of the full moon, once in a thousand year, the moon turns to the red like blood. Some say it's a sign of the devil scrubbing to the sky, but it's the only time when you can hear the moon's lonely cry. It's shaken the man's soul way deep inside the wolf's world, where only sadness and death lives. Many say it when that day comes, you better save yourself and hide yourself from the wolf and the moon. Because those who don't hide, the beast of darkness will take to unknown places where you will never return. Those who say they have seen the wolf are called crazy. Some were killed and some lost their minds. Those who have seen it all have said the same. It's not ordinary wolf, it's more beast than animal. When it peers, it comes a dark haze. Something vicious and wild is taking shape, hatching out of the darkness as it wakes. With the glowing red eyes, teeth are covered by blood. Its growl would make even the strongest tremble. The eyes, those are full of hate and fire. It breathe can freeze the flowers. Gloves are shaper than knife. One strike could kill you under the five seconds. When it comes, they pray that it would not kill them. It kills its prey, but don't eat it, so those who found the bodies can see it themselves and make it fear it. Only few have escaped from it, and more have died. Dead bodies depend on the bridges of the trees lying on the path and the front of the city gates. The face has scratched, hearts taken away. The wounds are deeper than any other beast's wounds. But the thing everyone say is that when wolf has appearance, the words can be heard. I wish I could forget. I wish I could forgive. I wish I could forgive. I wish. Moon's light never brought me here, cause now the same light wants you dead. For some, those are the last words they ever hear. No matter what you do, how many hunters you send, no matter how long you try to kill it, the beast will never stop. It's hungry for blood. Its endless blood river runs to the unknown. Fierce anger, blind madness will woke the beast of darkness. For years, it has been nothing but death, pain, and madness. There were no hope left for humanity. Some say it's not from this world. It was something more. When morning sun arises, it disappears. No one knows where. But when darkness takes over, the beast starts hunting. It walks alone in darkness. All creatures run as fast as they can, far away from it. No one stay near to it. If you dare, it is your end. The never-ending blood hungry. Young woman appears to the town. She said she would take the wolf away. The time for blood has come to an end. 
As you may think, no one believed her. They were told she was crazy, that it would be suicide to face the wolf. She told them the next night she will go for a wolf, and she would not return. But if the killing continues, she was dead. But if the killing would end, they would never heard from her or the wolf ever again. They took her for jail. They said she was mad, and only witch could do something like that. In that night, she looked outside of her jail's window, staring to full moon. She could hear the wolf's cry. It was calling her. In that moment, the door opens, without no one touching it. Woman starting her journey in the woods, where nothing but darkness surrounds her. She could hear demons and goblins sound somewhere in the darkness. She was not afraid. She knew her mission. The wolf. Deep in a forest, there's a waterfall. What's water shines in a full moon's light. In that place, there's complete silence. She closed her eyes and waiting to it to come. After some time, she heard something coming out the darkness. The wolf came out from the forest and stand right in front of her. Its teeth were not covered by blood like it normally would be. They stared at each other not saying a word. Woman walks closer in, and with her soft hands, what were white as snow, she touched wolf's head. The wolf had never felt this way. It wanted it to be this way, forever. In her eyes, the wolf saw peace. The endless war had come to an end. When morning came, woman's cell was an empty. No one knew her name or where she came, so no one knew where to look her. In that night, the bravest men from the city went to the woods, but they didn't saw or heard the wolf anywhere. They came to the waterfall, but the water was pure black, but there were no sign of the woman or the wolf. Full moonlight was the only thing that was shining in the sky, and so ended the endless blood splitting and the curse of the wolf and the 